Like many that came before us, we are bound by restraints that refuse to be broken, as if they require a special token to open or a key that we can only receive after we suffered enough to earn a right to. But that's, that time never comes. These chains wrap around us from a, a constricting prison, continuously tightening with every slight movement, attempting to loosen it. These chains weigh on us like frost on a bird's wing. We long to be free with no strings attached. These chains are no better than rusted barbed wire, not meant to keep us out, but trap us in for punishment of false sin. Where the more we struggle, the harder it is for them to contain their chuckles. The more we str strangle ourselves, only to get our last breath. These chains act like telephone wires, transporting pain like it has a first-class ticket to our veins. We wait for someone to put an end to this while we try to endure it, so we wouldn't have to remember it. We knelt down not knowing what we could have done, but you stand there knowing damn well what you should have done, not knowing it was something everyone would have done. Our pride is all gone with these chains on, been here so long we don't remember where we came from. The sadistic are overseers, knowing their egotistic back a country that's militaristic, it's a characteristic that supports terroristic behavior and can lead to an apocalyptic future. The clatter of metal rings in our ears as if someone's waiting for us to pick up. But no one is home. We left hours ago, not being noticed with the doors unlocked, and we left the oven on. It seems as if every time we manage to get loose, the deck is reshuffled, as if our cards aren't, weren't bad enough. We are caged animals with makeshift muzzles living in a fake jungle at the mercy of the unworthy. I think about what I could have done for someone to curse me. Even if it was a mistake, no one would reimburse me. These chains, like the many that came before me, died in these. Whether they were crushed by their weight or if it simply was just fate, I can't rel relate. There's no way I can investigate since the majority were sent to incinerate. The strength of Hercules can't break me free from these shackles, and the intellect of Sophocles won't allow me to escape my solitary confinement. An order given to pawns as a cruel assignment that require drastic and multiple refinements. I alone cannot condone this sick entertainment because this practice will spread, teaching generations a definition of hate and discrimination, a humanitarian malpractice. These actions will distract us along with all the random questions they act, they've asked us, not to acknowledge all the things they did just to beat us. With all these atrocities and wonder how it reaches velocity, where their animosity grows along with our curiosity, since, since we cannot understand why someone would purposely allow these monstrosities, more often than sometimes, new chains are out from the ground, only to pull us closer to it, and over time we cannot muster up the, sh the, the breath we need to call for help, or the strength we need to pull ourselves back up. Even if someone managed to hear our desperate pleas, we would fall on de they would fall on deaf ears. These pawns follow their glorified leaders proudly, bending to the will blindly. With a vast numbers surrounding me, what comes next I can't say strongly, but I can guarantee it's ungodly. I won't be able to stay in my own body. We need help from everybody to break free from these chains. There is more killing than ever, be ever before, more ex ethnic tension than ever before, more corrupt leaders, more false preachers than ever before. We are They are unbound by restrictions for or care for human rights. They draw up the entire plans over numerous nights, and we allow them to roam free. We all can see, or is it just me, that thinks that this catastrophe should come to a swift conclusion. Only with mass contribution can we break free from these chains.